Hey everyone, it's Christian, and I am here doing, by, per request, a more more uncommon palms for everyone to kind of get an idea of what is out there, what you can grow, especially uh, for, a lot of, for a lot of viewers, you know, you don't live maybe in a tropical climate, but you want to be able to grow something in your greenhouse, and this is a great palm for that. It's very, it's, it's quite uncommon. Uh, it's definitely a collector plant. It's called Cliptocalyx pachystachys, and this is native to Papua New Guinea. It's a rainforest plant understory. Uh, could take a little bit of sun, but not that much. Uh, it's nice, you wanna keep it uh, in some shade because a lot of the characteristics look best when they, it's, it's a shaded plant. So it is, it's a dainty trunk. The trunk is about um, an inch, maybe an inch and a half at its greatest in diameter. Uh, it is the leaves, you know, obviously it, this is in a three gallon pot. It's nearing maturity. It, it, probably another foot and it'll start putting a flower out. And here's, uh, while I explain this palm, uh, there's also a little bit of a scale issue going on there. And the best way to treat this kind of issue, you see this white uh, powderiness? If you take Dawn and uh, dilute it down like 100 to one, like a couple drops to a gallon, basically, uh, that's way more, than, way more than 100 to one, but you get the idea, just to get a little bit of uh, residue on there. Spray it on the leaflets, not during, not in the, the heat of the summer, but maybe like at sunset, uh, get it on there. Uh, the, the scale can't stand that, and it will basically just, it'll, it'll suffocate, so it'll go away. That's the easiest way. You don't have to use uh, you know, any of the, the real hardcore chemicals. I'm never a fan of that, because usually the home remedies work just fine, and the hardcore chemicals are both expensive and very toxic to... Uh, not only the plant but the environment and you probably that's most important as well as the environment so this this plant as you can notice it has a model leaf the modeling meaning it has a lighter this isn't variegation variegation is going to be very uh, black and white where the modeling kind of fades from a dark green to a light green it also has a red new leaf it makes it absolutely it has kind of multiple this this definitely stands out because of the the, the multiple characteristics that are uncommon for uh, this palm it has also the teardrop cupped leaflet and it, that comes to a point. And th these leaves are no more than eight inches long and that's gonna be maturity, uh, that's gonna be a mature leaf. So you can keep this uh, outside in the summer like on your patio and then maybe bring it inside on cold nights or if you have a greenhouse, it's not gonna take up a whole lot of room. It can probably stay in a three gallon pot for quite some time. Though if you're gonna keep it in a pot for more than say a year, year and a half, I recommend taking the soil out, washing it down nicely, repotting it with some coarse material, as organics like coarse pine bark, that sort of thing, and uh, then you have yourself a you know good drain, decent drainage as well as uh, acidic material to allow the, for nutrient uptake, nitri nitrogen uptake as well, which is obviously nutrients. Is, um, so uh, it is. You might want to ask where can I get this? There's a number of people in, in South Florida that do sell this plant you can buy it there you can find it in Hawaii as well there's some wholesalers although there is there are minimum orders and I'm going to talk with one of the wholesalers and ask him if he wants to be mentioned uh, in the vlog uh, he's more of a he's a guy that just kind of he, he grows a little bit of he's a he's, he's a palm fanatic like I am but he has the ability to grow much more he has more space and more access to uh, many more species and uh, he's, he's quite the grower. I mean, he's, he, he's a great guy. And so uh, so that is Cliptocalyx pachystachys. And there are, other there are other species in this genus. Cliptocalyx is gonna be uh, mostly dainty palms. There's a couple big ones. And I'm gonna see if I can't find uh, a good example of the, of the bigger ones. There's gonna be even smaller ones that have different emergent uh, color emergent leaves there's like an orange or bronze emergent one and uh there's they're mostly red or just a green emergent and they're mostly dainty like this and they're easy to collect because you could collect 20 species and it would only take up you know this is probably just you know a couple square meters or a couple square or square yards of your uh, greenhouse and they're beautiful uh they're relatively easy going as you can see they're this one is kind of just left to its own a little bit of scale but that's going to happen in a, in a greenhouse so I hope this come, my voice comes over the fan. So if you can hear me and everything, <laughs> uh, and all you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions about uh, tropical rainforest understory plants or growing this plant in particular, leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time.